Assalamu alaikum, dear ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for providing me an opportunity to express my views on 25th, 25 years of Tajikistan-Pakistan diplomatic relations. The relations of Tajikistan and Pakistan began from ancient times of the two brotherly nations and commenced a qualitatively new phase of bilateral ties as Tajikistan gained its independence and these ties have been improving till present. I feel delighted to inform you that over the last 25 years, Tajik Pak friendship has emerged as one of the best examples of good neighbor lines in international political arena. This is due to the visionary leaderships of both the countries that share the common goals of peace, progress, and prosperity for our two peoples and the region. Since 1992, the year we established our diplomatic ties, we have signed more than 50 bilateral agreements and MOUs to institutionalize and fast track our bilateral cooperation in various areas of mutual benefit. As a result, today, these ties are flourishing in multiple fields. We enjoy mutually rewarding cooperation between our countries in various areas, including economy, trade, energy, industry, education, science and culture, security and defense. The joint, work, uh, joint commission on trade, economic, scientific and technical cooperation between Tajikistan and Pakistan, the sixth session of which is planned to be held in Dushanbe this year, is very important for expansion of our relations. At this stage, our foreign policy plays priority to the significant relation with Pakistan. Recip reciprocal official and working visits of the leaders and high-ranking government officials of Tajikistan and Pakistan demonstrate high level of trust and deep bilateral ties. We are pleased with the level and content of our bilateral relations. At the same time, we still have a huge untapped potential for expansion and strengthening of our relationship between the two countries. An economic sphere, both the leadership realize that we are presently living in a highly globalized and competitive world where the economic interests often overlap and in turn necessitate intensified bilateral economic cooperation. Although the bilateral trade between our two countries has been on a positive trajectory since the last 25 years. There is still a long way to go to realize the maximum potential that exists in this area for our mutual benefit. Sensing the vast potential the two countries have now developed a robust institutional mechanism to boost bilateral trade ties. As a result, our economic ties are not commensurate with the existing political one. Still, we are happy to inform you that our bilateral trade increased from a paltry 100,000 US dollars per annum to about 100 million US dollars during last decade. However, we have now constituted multiple joint working groups in the areas of trade, investment, transport, and energy connectivity that are tasked to chalk out strategies to boost bilateral trade and connectivity and achieve the trade target of US 500 million, uh, of 500 million US dollars as set by our two respective leaderships. In order to strengthen economic and trade ties in the framework of the state visit of the President of the Republic of Tajikistan to the Islamic Republic of Pakistan on November 2015, the Joint Business Council of the two countries was established and its 
first meeting was held in Islamabad. The second session was held in Dushanbe last year in the framework of official visit of the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan to Tajikistan. We welcome launching exhibitions of products by Chambers of Commerce and Industry of Pakistan in Dushanbe. During these events, we have witnessed that the Tajik people have particular interest in Pakistani products. The other advantage for Pakistani business community is operation of National Bank of Pakistan in the banking system of Tajikistan. One of the key issues of cooperation between the two countries is the energy sector. We have plenty of opportunities in this area. <coughs> the cooperation between Tajikistan and Pakistan in this field is not only responsible for the national interest of the two countries, but also the positive impetus for the regional integration process. The nature has bestowed Tajikistan with the abundant hydro power resources, utilization, the utilization of which is the best mode of producing renewable energy and meeting our growing needs. Pakistan being the sixth most populous country in the world has high demand of electricity, particularly in summer months when it is in surplus in Tajikistan. The completion of Casa 1000 project will therefore enable Pakistan to import 1000 megawatt of electricity in summer months. Since Casa 1000 project is the first practical initiative to connect energy-rich Central Asia with energy deficit South Asia, all the partner countries, including Kyrgyz Republic and Afghanistan, and the donor agencies attach significant importance to its successful materialization. No doubt its com completion will create a win-win situation, not only for Pakistan and Tajikistan, but for the whole region, as it will establish a permanent energy corridor and open up further avenues of energy trade in the region. After successful launching ceremony held in Tajikistan in May 2016, the project has already entered its implementation phase and with collective efforts, it will soon see the light of the day. The position of Tajikistan and Pakistan is closely related to the international and regional issues. In close cooperation between the international and regional organizations between the two countries. The cooperation between the two countries in the United States, uh, sorry, in the United Nations, Islamic Cooperation Organization, Economic Cooperation Organization, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, and other multilateral, regional, and international organizations is on the rise and will continue to be on the rise for the two countries and the peace and stability of the region. That is why both the countries almost invariably support and stand by each other in various, on various international and regional forums. In security realm, we both consider peace as the basic requisite for economic progress and prosperity, and hence view the menaces of extremism and terrorism. This common perception has instilled into our bilateral relations a common resolve to root out these evils from our two countries region to, from our two countries region and the world. Pakistan's full membership in the SCO last year was a historic moment. The SCO region now roughly represents 40% of world's population, population and 20% of its GDP and has accordingly emerged as a major player in regional and global affairs. The organization has indeed 
a great potential in every area to transform the whole region into a prosperous community of nations. Our relations in the sphere of literature and culture have common historical roots. Our people were connected by common culture, particularly the common literature during the Middle Ages. Pakistani Persian speaking poets such as Allama Muhammad Iqbal, Mirza Asadullah Ghaib, and Faiz Ahmadi Faiz are well known among the Tajik people. The two countries therefore fully realize the importance of strong bilateral cultural and academic ties that increase people to people contacts and bind <coughs> nations into a single whole. At present, the two sides are availing every opportunity to build bridges between our laureates, artists, academia, and institu institutions. On the eve of the 25th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Tajikistan and Pakistan, the official opening ceremony of the Tajik Tajikistan-Pakistan Friendship Association was held in the historical city of Lahore last year. At the end, I would like to thank Center for Global and Strategic Studies for the warm and pleasant hospitality in the beautiful city of Islamabad. Our delegation had a wonderful time during last week uh, to Islamabad, uh, in Islamabad and Lahore. I would uh, like to mention here that uh, it was uh, first visit of uh, our delegation to Pakistan and uh, I, w I used to work here at the embassy for the last four years and now I am uh, representing Tajikistan Foreign Office and when our delegation visited Lahore they visit the historical city of Lahore. And I want to talk a little bit in Urdu, because for four years, I learned Urdu in a good way, and I also learned Punjabi in Punjabi. This is a good thing that I feel very good. Lahore, जिने लोर नहीं वे क्या वो जम्मे नहीं मैं चार साल के दौरान जब इधर रहा हर साल कोशिश करता था कि तीन चार बार लाहौर जमने के लिए जाऊं और उधर जाके जम के फ्रेश हो के फिर वापस आ जाता बहुत शुक्रिया अभी मैं फॉरेन ऑफिस रिप्रेजेंट करता हूं और मैं पूरी कोशिश करूंगा कि हमारे हमारा बायलेट्रो जो राबता है इसको और ज्यादा बढ़ा जाऊं और ज्यादा कोशिश करूं कि आगे आगे अच्छी तरह से चले जाए हमारे रिलेशन्स बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर लेटिंग अस नो दैट हाउ वी कैन अटेन प्रोस्पेक्टिव एंड रीजनल इंटीग्रेशन थ्रू uh, bilateral diplomatic ties. Uh, moving forward, I would now like to introduce to you Dr. Kurbanov Abdurrahmanov Shirovek, head of the Department on Social Sciences Problem Studies of the Center for Strategic Research under the President of the Republic of Tajikistan. Sir, I would like to request you to please enrich our understanding with your profound historical insight on historical and cultural ties between Tajikistan and Pakistan. Please, sir. 